What's up guys? Welcome to another Build It Break Garage episode. Uh, today's episode is probably going to be like a short one, but I got like two things to cover with you. Um, so I'm going to be redoing the back half of the exhaust on Midori um, in the near future. Uh, after leaving it, I left it open downpipe over the summer. Really got, I really enjoyed how loud it was. Uh, I didn't enjoy, however, that it was right below my ass and made everything vibrate, but that's why we're going to do the half back half. I'm going to get rid of the muffler and we're just going to basically be straight piped all the way back with a nice set of tips. I've already ordered the materials to make a nice set of tips that I want. Uh, so they're going to be one off custom and uh, we're going to be doing two and a half inch pipe all the way to the down pipe now because right now it goes down to two. So there's some restriction in it. And right now it also has a horrible exhaust leak by one of the V-bands. So we're going to hopefully fix that. But uh, first off, I got to take this diffuser off. Uh, first time I'm doing it since we put it on, so hopefully it comes off easy. I don't know how this thing goes, but uh, we're going to find out. And also, I have uh, some new lights in the garage that I'm going to show off at the end of this video. So, uh, thank you for watching and enjoy me taking this off. Okay, so, so far I've got the bumper off and the diffuser off. The diffuser actually wasn't too hard to get off once I figured out the proper sizes of the nuts. But so far, this is what the back end of the car looks like, as I'm sure you can tell from the time lapse. But I am going to be cutting the muffler off and hopefully sticking those on just for temporary uh, before my new custom tip comes in. So uh, yeah, let's cut this up and see how she sounds. Okay, and just like that, the muffler's cut off. It's not the straightest cut, unfortunately, but I'll have some work to play with. But let's start it up and see how it sounds. Okay, and just like that, I got the exhaust tip welded on. I mean, it is not the prettiest, prettiest welding, which is the reason why I don't do undercar welding because I freaking suck at it. Um, but uh, yeah, no, this thing, this thing ain't going nowhere. So uh, it'll be good for a temporary fix. This is probably hopefully the last a month. Knowing me, it's gonna be probably till next year. So uh, let's get the bumper on and see how she looks. Okay, and car's back on the ground. Got all my stuff put away. Uh, the fitment is perfect. That's exactly how I wanted it. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, now, as for the sound, it sounds raspy as hell. Um, I don't understand why it would because when it was open down pipe with the two and a half inch on the middle of the car, it was deep and it sounded really good. And now there's just a piece of pipe in between that and the tip and it sounds raspy as hell so uh, I'm hoping uh, that it's just because I'm running a two inch pipe in between where or I'm running it running it through a two inch pipe now and maybe that's causing it to be raspy so hopefully when I go to the two and a half inch exhaust all the way back uh, it sounds better but uh, yeah at least it kind of looks kind of cool hey right, guys uh, so cut in here um, I just got done taking it for its first test drive and uh, yeah it sounds like shit um, I don't know why because it sounds good if I take it off at the point where it ends at two and a half inch pipe but for some reason from that point to the tips it gets like a whole shit ton of rasp and it's like all it is is just freaking rasp it sounds like complete garbage so I'm gonna just unhook it from the middle again like I did and hope that sounds good again and wait for my new exhaust to show up before because I have a feeling it has something to do with that two inch pipe so um, go, I'm gonna be doing a whole exhaust with two and a half with the new exhaust so 
hopefully that sounds better but i also got a cherry bomb just to put the, i mean it's a little one like this is the cutest little cherry bomb so this is the cherry bomb i just picked up and i'm gonna put it in the new exhaust and i mean look how tiny this thing is like it's so cute but uh yeah so i'm gonna um put that in uh just to try to help with some of the rasp in the next exhaust but uh yeah so right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna lift this thing up split it at the middle and then go for another ride and hopefully it sounds better Just like that, got it disconnected at the halfway point. Let's start it up and see how it sounds. So yeah, as you can tell, it sounds great like this, but add pipe to the back and all of a sudden it sounds like shit. So. I'm gonna go for another ride and uh, hopefully it sounds good. Okay, well, I just got back from my second drive after splitting it in the middle and sounds perfect. That's exactly the sound I want. You can hear the turbo spool up and everything. Like, it sounds good. So hopefully when I put the rest of the two and a half inch piping on here, uh, it sounds like that just coming out the back. So, cause that's the only thing that's annoying is that it sounds great, but it's coming right from under your feet and it vibrates everything in the car and it's just drony but if i can get that same noise to the back i'll be happy so fingers crossed but for right now uh this is all just a temporary setup uh, i gotta order the pipe in because uh, i'm gonna do real mandrel bends on it so yeah but anyway thank you for watching this video uh, i do appreciate it be sure to like comment share and subscribe and we'll be seeing you in the next one peace